A decades-long space exploration mission came to an end this morning in spectacular fashion. NASA scientists purposely steered the Cassini satellite on a suicide plunge into Saturn's atmosphere. But the spacecraft, with equipment built right here in Colorado, was transmitting first-of-its-kind data right up until the end. Tori Mason went to Boulder today to watch Cassini's final moments. It was a bittersweet morning for the science community as they watched a 20-year journey come to an end. It's a sad moment, but it was a fantastic mission, did a huge amount of things, and so it's sad, but inevitable. Cassini was running out of fuel, and NASA didn't want to risk the spacecraft crashing into one of Saturn's moons. We don't want to leave our junk, our trash, orbiting around Saturn where someday it might crash into Enceladus and contaminate another world. So they sacrificed Cassini for the good of the solar system. So it's a really emotional, but um, it's been a fantastic ride. Cassini collected 600 gigabytes of data and completely transformed our understanding of the planets. For LOSP, losing Cassini was like losing a team member. That Cassini was launched 20 years ago. Liftoff of the Cassini spacecraft on a billion mile trek to Saturn. The instrument that uh, CU last built was designed many years before that. So in a way, we've been working on this mission 25 years plus. And several scientists have been on this mission the entire time. Ah, great work to all of them. CU Boulder is the only university in the world to have built instruments that visited every planet in the solar system.